everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're going to talk about how to become more confident to kick up in the center of the space without the wall. So you are probably now at the stage where you can confidently kick up against the wall, maybe even balance the handstand for a few seconds, but then once you try in the center and the wall is not there anymore, suddenly everything is different and your kick-ups aren't going well anymore, you can't balance, everything is out of alignment. So this is very common because the wall in the beginning is a real physical support that we need and then it becomes a very big mental support because it's just uh, so very solidly there. So let's talk about four ways to wean yourself off the wall so that you have a bit less wall contact in your life. Number one is to do kick-ups, continuous kick-ups in front of the wall with the one most important rule to never ever touch the wall. So do not ever overshoot. So this is what it looks like. You purely stay in your front space only. So this is not about the balance. It's really just about controlling how much momentum you have. Um, so try to stay always in front. The very big rule is to never touch, never touch the wall like this, yeah? So you always want to close in your front space. Uh, once you can do this confidently for like a set of 10, then move on towards doing individual kick-ups, trying to hold for two seconds. Exactly the same thing. We prioritize not touching the wall over the balance. So the balance is not so important. You, it can be a balance of in and out again, but the most important thing is you never ever touch the wall because maybe you've gotten used to doing this kicking up and then finding balance so that is what we don't want you then increase that balance to up to five seconds and once you're at that stage slowly move away from the wall further and further week by week so i'd say two centimeters per week mark your yoga mat or put tape on the floor to keep track of the progress so every week you set your fingers two centimeters further away from the wall and do exactly the same exercise. Try to find balance, come back down. Yeah, so the wall is still there. You can actually still be quite far away from the wall and still be safe. So the wall from now on should only be used in emergencies. So if I'm this far away from the wall and I shoot over, I'm still actually very safely able to touch the wall. Yeah, and I am quite far away by now from the wall. So you can increase this distance a good long way and like that you slowly get used to the inexistence of the wall. And the fourth exercise is a handstand hold with an elevation. So again, uh, in the beginning you can be close to the wall and then you can make the distance between you and the wall bigger and you're gonna hold the handstand with one leg on the elevation. It can be higher than this. Um, and one leg up in the air. So this is what it looks like. And you have very light contact here on the elevation with your toes. And then you try to hold it here for 20 seconds. And then you can swap legs to here. Great, I hope that this helped you. If you want to learn more about handstands or more advanced moves, have a look at my Vimeo library. There is the link below. And also please do support me on Patreon. If you like these videos, that greatly helps me to keep making these videos for you. Thank you very much for watching.